to do is first oh, whoop, let's go down make sure our engine is off because that is one thing i always want to make sure is off because the station will actually power it we don't need the engine on so we want to make sure the engine is off But I mean, it has doesn't have any. Oh, okay. Fuel rods is done for anyway. So let's put this in here. Actually, there's a few fuel rods on the ground. Let's throw these in. We went. Th we've actually gone through quite a few, few fuel rods. <laughs> we need to get a little more, I think. Uh, let's go. Also, uh, also kind of short on that diving mask. The weird thing is, I don't remember wearing that diving mask that much. Okay, we have another fuel here. Let's go ahead and start organizing everything. I think that's how we want to start everything off, is just start with some organization and planning. So we can go ahead and destroy this and get some steel out of it. I used to just throw these down until I realized that I was actually missing out by doing it. By doing that. Oh, I think that the bad thing is, bad thing is this raptor's bane is falling off. Another one you could do is uh, tobacco and raptor's bane are both plants you could you could do. I think technically tobacco might be the best one to do. I think because I, I don't remember exactly if you're just gonna sell it, but raptor's bane can be made into raptors. Well, raptor's bane, and you can shoot a shoot your syringe gun and kill things quick. Kill uh, specifically mud raptors quick. So let's go to the store real quick. Sell that one raptor's bane. There we go. Sell that. We actually sell anything for some reason that we don't want. I keep forgetting I can do that. <laughs> Let's sell a few of this Raptor's Bane. I only need to keep maybe a little bit just in case. I need to restock. I'll just keep one. I'll make us money. Just sell it. We have one uranium, so we could actually refill one of our things here. Artifact transport. Do we have a tool belt on? Let's sell that and kind of back out, out and see if we have a tool belt on. We do not have a tool belt on. We do need a tool belt. Because I th honestly prefer every single person who can have a tool belt has a tool belt. So let's buy one. Because I believe the other two already do have them. Oh, hold on. That's selling. We do have a tool belt sitting around somewhere on the submarine. Oh, he's leveled up. Okay, you do just a scratch when you're below 50% health. Normal damage types heal by themselves. Minor mechanics. Unlock handheld electrical monitor. Gain electrical engineering whenever you gain a mechanical engineering skill. That was interesting. Military applications. Recipe. Depleted fuel. Oh, that can make... Okay. Remote monitor, reactor, PDA, fuel rods, to fabricate are one quality higher. Game electrical engineering. Co Arthur can be okay, but it's a little bit complicated. It's a little bit complicated. Uh, technically, there's an assistant thing that's a little bit better for everybody. Um, thermal goggles. I can get us a suit. College athletics. It's just polymath. There's a few things, and also co-author is against volatile fulgarium uh, fuel rods, so I kind of would rather have the unique stuff. <laughs> no applications can be neat. Nuclear option. You have to pick one. Of, which, which one of these? When you're below, put you heal by themselves. Unlock. Handheld electrical monitor. Whenever you gain electrical engineering, you also gain mechanical engineering. Handheld electrical monitor seems a little interesting. Now that's really decent. When you're below 50 percent normal damage types, you know, slowly by themselves because then you don't need someone constantly paying attention to them as he goes around shocking himself nearly to death. Uh, but he won't shock himself that much if he's really good. I don't really know what the... I've never really done much with the engineer. But part of me goes handheld electrical monitor might be... worth it. 
no damage types. When uh, unlock recipe, no, hold on. Ah, uh, that's a hard one. Well, let's see who is someone else need a uh, leveling up. Ah, Barry does. Let's see, maybe we can make a decision with him first. Unlock safety harness. Whenever you gain mechanical engineering skill, you also gain engineering. Uh, electrical engineering. So it's basically the exact opposite and aggressive engineering. Whenever you attack with a wrench, 30% chance to get an additional. Uh, you have a 30% chance to attack with 200% additional power. Inflict an additional stun. You can repair devices 20% past their normal condition. That's pretty good. Kind of like that better. Aggressive engineering. Because we're, we're going to level up someone decent. But. These 20% 20 20 past their maximum sounds really useful. There's also Tinker. Oh, you can tinker with an engine, increasing its torque by... Oh, gosh. The device is only affected as long as you keep tinkering with it. You can tinker for seven seconds. After you tink have tinkered dev device, you cannot tinker for 35... Uh, for 35 seconds. Okay, so that seems like only for seven seconds. Eh. Pioneer scrounger interview open container in a wreck for the first time. 40% chance of finding additional scrap and deconstruct scrap again. 40% experience, four stores, 75% faster. That's good, but I think we're going to go for aggressive engineering because that I think we can use right now, basically. So we can get some crazy stuff down this way. When you inflict burning damage, you gain physical resistance. More filled with faster repair devices and swim. That can be decent for... I mean, there's a captain who has a similar trait, but I don't think it's so important for the captain. Because I feel like the captain's got a lot of other stuff to have to do. Like getting away. He can't... He, because he's got to drive the ship away from whatever's beating the crap out of it. Building tools. Okay. Miner is also really interesting. My, miner's pretty cool because what it does is it increases the amount of output you can get. So that could be very decent. And also, you can have multiple technicians or engineers, so you can, in a way, specialize here. Ooh, hold on. Did I deconstruct that? No, I put it right here. Okay. Our, our guy did. <laughs> We actually see if we got repair, uh, upgrading stuff, or we can get crew. I feel like we might want crew before we start go, going around upgrading the stuff. I mean, fuel would be good, but crew, we don't, we don't have a medic. And I feel like a, a medic might be a big, a good investment. Oh, hold on, before we do anything, let's... Remote monitor, fuel rods let you fabricate one higher. Just a scratch seems so helpful. Those are applications. This is a remote monitor. Pull off their hazardous materials, polymath. And we could go down one of the other trees first. And that lets us do fuel rods. So we're going to go down physicist first. So I don't have to make a decision there. And have an electrical monitor. I don't know. I feel like I need one engineer maybe with that. Um, let's go here. Okay, let's get our scrap. We probably should have our mechanic doing all that. But we're gonna go get crew real quick. Now, the one neat thing is I think that in between, like if you get out, you actually will end up stacking missions. So we might actually have more missions. I don't know if I talked to these guys already. Okay, we got killing a hammerhead, which, you know, we could do. That I'm pretty sure we could do. We've done that already. Let's go over this way. Let's get crew. Now, we are a little hurt. We seem to like, just develop just lacerations over time. Now, we could get an assistant. Or a security officer. We don't have a doctor, which is a downright shame. Because I would like, I would really like it. I would really like a doctor. We could have an assistant kind of act like a doctor. 
Albeit they're going to probably give some people some serious addictions. <laughs> hmm, let's think here. Let's try to be smart. Um. We can also do a security officer. Which security officers are also pretty decent at medical. About the same as an assistant, medical wise. So they could kind of do that. Arthur Kidd? You know what? Let's do that. Let's get a security officer. Also, we have someone to watch the turret more often. Validate hires. And we should have enough money still that when we get somewhere else, we can get a, a doctor. Oh, we need to go get more missions. Hold on. Let's climb back up here. Climb our way back up. Did we even sell the Raptors Bane? On it? We did not sell the Raptors Bane we had on us. <laughs> okay, Thresher eggs. We're not messing around with that. Prisoner transport, I don't want to mess around with right now because we only have the one security officer and I'm pretty sure they're going to run to the armory. <laughs> the, 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 uh, prisoners. And I have a feeling that our security officer might just trip, take them down. I don't know, we might have to do it. Maybe the only mission that makes sense. Let's go sell this one Raptors Bane we have on us. Oh, we, we could have, but we just hadn't. Uh, oh, we got some more Raptors Bane. Oh, yeah, because they're just falling off. That's cool. We do not want to sell that tool belt. Sell the Raptors Bane, yes. We can also... Which is... We can also get... Which is good is about the mil... Uh, is that the bots and uh, single player you'll actually be able to mess around with. Whereas in multiplayer you can't really mess around with them much. So we should be able to get some help there. So let's go ahead. I think we've pretty much got all we... Well, we might want more fuel rods. I want some more fuel rods. I, I kind of like to buy as many as possible. Thorium. And then buy some... Oh, no, we're selling them. Okay, hold on. Buy. Thorium. Oh, not thorium. Fuel, just normal fuel rods. Fuel. Oh, we don't have any more... They don't have any more fuel rods. They don't have any fuel rods to sell us. Maybe we already bought that before we left last time. Oop. Get out of that chair. All right, let's go. I think we got our mission. I think we got everything we nearly can, can from here. Is it through here? No, that's not the way back down. Said, and also put the steel up somewhere. <laughs> we just hit ourselves with the. Now, I guess you could could try to automate the captain job by having the AI drive. I just don't trust the AI's driving as much as I trust myself driving. Okay, let's also put all this stuff. I think we wanted to... This Now, I'll show you a little tip that I do. Is, is whenever I get medals, I put them all in there. I like to put all medals together, so it makes sense. Iron, copper, zinc, silicon. I don't really know if that's a... And that sounds... I always sound silly by saying that, but I'm not really sure if that's metal. Aluminum. Uranium. It's kind of... I mean, like, technically, everything can be everything. I know that sounds silly, but I want to just put it in there. Silicon. Because you can kind of... I believe you can make glass out of some... I think you can have, like, a silicon glass. Magnesium, potassium. And then I put all these things in these... Uh, in, in their own container as well. Just because they're all in, uh... Bottles. I mean, I might just put these because they're in similar containers in there. Might be easier visually to understand if I do that. Rubber ducky. You can always go with a storage container for the rubber ducky, too. There you go. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. I love storage containers, if you can't tell. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't uproot. Don't uproot. I was uprooting that by accident. 
And I think we were putting... Oh, we had some stuff in here. Sprayers, blue paint, paint, plasma, uh, cutter, diving knife. I typically like to have one for plants. One thing just for plants. Okay, let's put that belt on. So we could do that. Uh, for this, I want to put... There's a storage area back here that has diving cutters and everything like that. Do I want to put those to early? I think I could probably sell those. I don't really need that many. Oh, there's another tool belt. I, okay. You know, we might actually just sell or break these down. Uh, I can actually take out the ethanol from the sprayers. Which would be kind of useful. Let's take everything that doesn't have fuel already in it. Okay, we got so many sprayers. Which are basically free ethanol. Oh. that back in we got there we got there we got at the end there welding tool so we have four welding tools we can put that in there we got four welding tools four sprayers so let's we can go ahead and empty this sprayer out of the ethanol and we can sell that we can keep the ethanol and I think that should be good enough. And we have some wrenches for when we need it. Need it. And then we have an extra tool belt to put on the security officer. Diving knife. Which I really don't need. We're going to try to sell all that stuff. Alright, let me take all the ethanol out of here. We do not need that many sprayers. Especially considering sprayers are basically just to clean stuff up. Set up. <laughs> Right. Way back up. In multiplayer, storage containers are even better because then you can take two things to the store. You can't sell from submarine in multiplayer. You have to actually take it to the store. Oh no, no, he's on this level. I mean, I guess we could break it down rather than sell it for materials. Oh, I have it on, uh... Well, let's see what it, it is first. So, sell. Plasma cutter is for 55. Oh, and the materials... The materials might be more useful, maybe? Let me break one down and see. What do, what do I get from a sprayer? I want to see what I get from a sprayer, and I want to see what I get from a plasma cutter. It's interesting uh, test, at least. Also, that diving mask really shouldn't have barely any oxygen. <laughs> we really should have a diving mask that has some at least decent oxygen. I wouldn't necessarily disagree with having at least a diving mask on most people. But uh, it's not it's not totally necessary. Plastic and iron. You know what? We'll just deconstruct this now and see what we get. I might take the plastic and iron, just or steel, plastic and steel. Just for the versatility of the half crafting material if I want. Rather than having to buy them. Okay, let's let's throw all these on there. And paint gives you, I think, you alien blood or something like that. If I remember correctly. Which we're selling paint, but it might actually be better to deconstruct it. Right, I'm gonna switch real quick. To, hold on. To deodorous here. He's got some internal or some organ damage. <laughs> so let's ha let's have him try to sleep if I can find the bed. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's make sure we don't drop the. Oh, we dropped the case. There we go. We'll drop the case if we don't. If we're not careful, so we probably need to. Hold on. Let's switch back to deodorous here. We'll just run him to the bed. Have him sleep while we do all that. We probably won't get far enough from the case to really matter. Oh, he just took the case. Dude, you just took my case. Where did, where did you take my case? A guy just took my case. A guy just ran away with my suitcase. Dude, 
Dude, that was my suitcase. They're gonna probably hate me for going through their stuff, but they just ran through my, they just ransacked my suitcase. I'll right, we'll give him a diving knife, just so he has something to defend himself with. Worst case scenario. I, mean, I want to basically have maybe revolvers on everybody. Or some kind of good melee weapon. Stun rods, maybe. Okay. That's some interesting stuff there. Zinc. Okay, it didn't give us alien blood. Which I was thinking it might give us. Still interesting. Now, the, uh, some submarines actually have bunks on them, but unfortunately it doesn't seem like we do. I don't know. We're at sorting this. There you go. Plastic. I'm gonna put that with the rubber. There you go. Rubber and plastic. You'll go in there. And ethanol. You can go in there because that's kind of shape similar. There you go. All right. So you're not wearing your diving mask, are you? There you go. So he has a knife if he needs it. <laughs> he has a knife if he needs it. Okay, so let's get him to a bed. So that organ damage might be tricky. I want to see if it heals too. I know that being in a bed will heal a lot of damage. And it's better than constantly using opiates. Or something like that to constantly heal, heal your guys. You trade a little bit of, like a little bit of time. They're kind of frozen in time, speaking of. Okay, where's the beds? Not up there. Right here. Beds? Nope. We got beds up here. Surprisingly, no. We have not. I've not seen any beds. That's weird. Almost every place typically has them. Maybe over here. Oh, must be up here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now, this, now I believe we should be able to see if... Oh, we're taking damage. Well, not taking damage. Okay, so we have minus 12 organ damage. Let's see how much that helps over time. Now, I wonder if I can switch characters while he sleeps. No. We kind of have to sleep as him. <laughs> Which will take, a, it'll take a second for us to do. But not too long. Let's not keep that paused. Let's just see if it helps. We can check down on this little bar here. Yeah, it's going up. The other thing is, as we're, uh, we call it, it takes a, a moment, it'll take a moment before we get it all back up. Also, I think we have duplicate tools, maybe? No. Let's put the wire in here. We don't need the wire out. Doesn't need to be quick access. Honestly, tool belt's best for, like, consumables, if you ask me. Because you don't use them all, all that much, or like, like, like fuel, like, I shouldn't say consumables, but ammunition style things, like fuel, um, fuel, medical equipment, not medical equipment, fuel, ammo, things like that, because you automatically draw ammo from there very much by, well not automatically, you can go grab it and just drag it to your weapon. That it will help some radiation sickness and burn. Okay, let's see how much that's helped our organ damage. It's helped it very little, but it has helped it. Probably helped our blunt force trauma a little bit more. And how's Barry doing? He's doing alright. A lot of us have lacerations, and I really don't know how we're getting lacerated. Something's lacerating us, and we don't know what. Which is a scary thought. <laughs> I mean, the idea of getting cut up in your sleep isn't exactly, or cut up while you're not paying attention isn't exactly a, you know, advertising one. Right, let's see. Oh gosh, I just opened the wrong door. Oh no. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> wrong door. <laughs> let's go down. I went. Right when I, I left, when I should have gone right, I opened the door to the outside and locked myself out almost. Let's go this way. 
Turn this way. Let's go on a mission. We're a little damaged, but that's okay. Killing a hammerhead. That one's a decent one. Terminator swarm. Crawlers. I find that killing one big thing is sometimes a little easier than killing a bunch of little things when you have a small crew. Because it's hard to get some people, enough people to man all the guns in order to do it. This one would be a really good one because of the beacon station. Oh, it's already active, so not that big a deal anyway. Let's go Let's go and kill this hammerhead. I think we killed the hammerhead last episode, but... Let's see how Arthur Kidd d does it. I mean, hammerhead's gonna have some neat stuff. The only thing is that sometimes I had... Like, sometimes you can get really deep trying to kill a crawler horde. And you can have something like try to come up from the deep. Something big try to come up from the deep and get you. I think I've even had an endworm. It may have been a churv just hit hit us, and then we ended up finding an endworm later on, right? But something came up when we were about like two thousand five hundred five five thousand, like the twenty five hundred down around that distance when we were fighting. We went like a little bit below that to fight a crawler group, and we started getting just absolutely attacked by everything. It may have just been terrible luck. And we're pretty far, far in, so it could have also been a another reason why, maybe. Uh, Barry, you don't have to operate guns anymore. It's not your job. It's Arthur's job now. Operate weapons. There we go. Also, do uh, fight intruders. And emergency heal and rescue. Um, I'm going to say you're going to do that as a secondary. Okay. So we're going to turn on the active sonar, manually, manual piloting, and let's get, let's get going. In fact, I'm going to, I'm going to see if I, I'm going to try to have the AI drive us a little bit by doing operate. Steer. Oh crap. We're going through. Hold on. Let's autopilot for a second. Maintain position so I can set. We already have navigate to destination on for us. So we can switch. So manual steering. So let's switch to. Who, who do I want to switch to? There's someone I want to check around with. I think I'm going to change Arthur Kid here because he's looking down. I might want to be the one to help try to focus on killing this thing. Ooh. Also, because then I can check both, uh... What the heck is that? Jellyfish. You're navigating the destination, right? The manual... Oh no, this way. Manual. Steer to destination, right? Operate. Oh, not weapons. Steer. Navigate to destination. Okay, we should be moving now. Some ice spires on sonar. Let's see if EB doesn't crash. <laughs> I know he doesn't crash. I'm gonna trust him for a little bit. Give him first aid to us. Do we really need it? Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, let's see. How are we doing on? Oh, oh, was that damage? No. Okay, it looks like we're kind of doing all right. I mean... We damaged a little bit in the armory and a little bit in the... Okay. So let's go to... Navigate, steer... Navigate the destination. A little bit in the armory, I think it says. And... Far back in the armory. There we go. 
Oh yeah, it has unauthorized access. Use that's the captain's uh, thing. Mud, mud raptor. Okay, we got a mud raptor going on. Hopefully, we're shooting that thing. And hopefully, we are. <laughs> I think we are. <laughs> yeah, I think we shot it up. Radio check. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's dr uh, let, let's drive ourselves. Oh, so it counts as autopilot. He just leaves it on autopilot, it seems. Hole breach and ballast tank? So maybe we'll fix that up. Uh, someone's running around in a diving suit. That's never, uh... Never comforting. Wait, where's the hammerhead? The hammerhead's backwards. We gotta go backwards. We're going too far away. The hammerhead's back. Is no one gonna fix that hole breach? Oh, we don't, we don't have a hole breach anymore. Let's go back to that hammerhead. We gotta have a way down. See, that's the tricky thing about going to any of these kill missions, is it can be tricky to find the darn thing. Let's work our way over here. Ballast tank really needs some repair. Because if we get hit in the hammerhead there again, we're gonna really quickly get damaged again. Pretty bad. Okay, there's got to be a way down. It's got to be down over here or something. Oh, oh, yep, here it is. This is our way down. Oh, that's a wreck. That's actually a wreck right by us. That's actually right oh, over this way. That's a wreck. I, I don't know. You could salvage that wreck. But I'm kind of worried about... I'm kind of worried about worried about it. Here, let's jump on autopilot real quick and check out for ourselves what that wreck looks like. We could salvage that wreck. See something real quick. Make sure everything's working all right on your guys' side. Okay, I think everything's working all right on your guys' side. Okay, cool. All right, so let's salvage the wreck. Oh no, something's coming up. The hammerhead came to us. The hammerhead came to us. Uh, keep keep fighting, everybody. Keep fighting. Hold on. Let's go ahead and help. Let's help down there. Fix things up. Oh gosh. Zero. Okay, hold on. Where's the Where's the whole breach? Where's the whole breach? There we go. Fix the whole breaches first, buddy. Oh, we're getting pressure. I think I think we're getting a little bit crushed. Oh boy, we're getting hit from the bottom again. Okay, let's fix this here. I see water coming in. It's the ballast tank. One of the ballast tanks are really messed up. Come on, guy. Come on. Oh boy, we're getting hit in the bottom again. Spread this out a little bit and try to fix things up. Are we are we shooting at all? Are we shooting? It feels like we're not shooting. Yeah, Arthur, come on, we need to shoot. Oh, where it's on top of us, that's why. Oh, come on. I'm not where is this thing? You guys fix it while I shoot it. <laughs> there we go. Oh boy, we're getting hurt. Swim. O2. There we go. Breathe. <laughs> oh, we also have our mask on, which was out of O2. Fix the darn thing, guys. Fix the hole. <laughs> oh boy, we're running out of O2. Okay, there we go. 
Oh my gosh! <laughs> Some serious flood warnings here. Let's get that on. Put the suit back. We just lose it. Let's switch out. Um, let's get our oxygen oxygen worked out. Good thing we landed on some kind of shelf. Which is good. Yeah. Where, where'd you put that at? Oh, he put it up. Okay, I don't know where the other one went. We do have one suit that's unaccounted for. We can always find that later. Oh, oh, oh! What else is hitting us now? What's hitting us now? Whoa, is somebody shooting us? Oh my gosh, gosh, we're getting attacked again! By what are we getting attacked by? The sub? The sub was shooting us. <laughs> oh, we're sinking. We're sinking bad. <laughs> oh no. The, fix the Fix the holes, everybody, come on. Barry is almost dead. Barry, you are hurt, man. You are hurting. We could try to get that record something from this. I think that we're not gonna mess with that that wreck. I think we're not gonna mess with the wreck. Play on some diving gear real quick though and get some whatever from that uh Because I think the wreck is a thalamus because I think only when turrets can only be operated by thalamuses. From my understanding. I was pretty sure that was shooting a rail gun or something at us. So I, I don't think it's going to be safe to go after that wreck. I was going to try to salvage it, but I think it's probably a Thalamus. I mean, we can always try and check again. Oh, Barry's, Barry's bad off. Might be best if we just try to run run off and not risk someone dying. Grab that suit, throw it back. Hammerheads definitely knock you around a bit. Let's go manual steering. Let's just drive off. I'm not gonna mess around with that wreck. I'm gonna take my 3,000 bucks and go. Wreck's gonna have some nice stuff on them. But I think that one's shooting us. Which we could fight it, but I don't think it's gonna be worth it. Because if we lose if we lose a crew member, we don't really have a doctor or the correct medical equipment to really we could go in. Because I've cleared quite a few works in multiplayer, but generally there's a uh, generally there's a chance you get uh, bit and need where we call it pretty quick. So it's good to have a doctor following you around. Right? Whether a multiplayer ha having a doctor playing with you or something like that. Because we call it, gen generally that seems to be the best idea. I mean, I'm, luckily I've never ended up really needing it since I'm more, I, I typically play a captain. But basically the, the, the away team is always basically trying to Manage the uh, manage uh, we call it. Manage uh, a doctor, uh, manage Calix and I. So, for and it looked like a pretty big ship. So, I think it's until we get a doctor, I'm not really gonna want to take risks. Now, I don't know if anyone else had a bug, but I did have one time where an assistant just died. Like we had a bot assistant, and they just died for instance from water pressure so i don't know if they decided just to leave the sub at some point <laughs> but we had a bot that was actually helping us out a lot and then suddenly just disappeared uh or, or we thought i thought i saw them in the midship 
and then it said they di died from water pressure when we were otherwise fine. So I don't know if that was a a bug or if right while we were docking something happened. Maybe Let's go back down. I mean that's always a possibility that something happened while we were docking. There we go. Barry Brett's pretty badly injured. We're gonna have to be, have Barry sleep it off. The good thing is prices will go down as they like us more. So, friend, if, if we can get both, if we can get, I like we like I've been lucky enough to for a few times have the uh, light blue for almost every, like for a lot of the factions, and that will make prices so much better. So much, so much better. <laughs> we're, we're typing by accident. There you go. Simon earlier. Medical item tra item transport. And let's see what else we got up here. I, I'm more of a transporter. I, I guess maybe that's as ca as playing typically a captain. I typically like the driving transport missions a little bit better. That's typically who I typically that focuses really heavily heavily more on the captain than anyone else. Combat missions are where a lot of the other people start, you know, being important a lot more. Only well, engineer and captain are really the the transport team. Oh, Barry! Barry is bad off, man. Oh my gosh! Deep tissue injury, concussion, blunt force trauma, burns. Oh, he can barely see, man. He's bad, bad off. His vision is terrible. Let's run over here. Let's try the concussion. We're gonna have him try to sleep it off. We're gonna see what we can do. We're trying to have him sleep it off. Let's see how much he can just sleep off. Because if he can sleep off a, like something as big as this, then that's a pretty like even though it takes time, that's a pretty good investment. Because that could be a lot of medicine to have to fix. Uh, did the power just go out? Excuse me. Oh, I think we have our generator going though, so we probably need to do something about that. Oh, he just threw up. He's throwing up over the deck. Oh, Barry! Come on, Barry! You survived the zombie apocalypse. You can survive this. Come on, run. Okay, let's get over here. Oop. Oh, did I just... Do you have a button that can actually just teleport you to a different character? X? Oh, it's X, yeah! I just got hit by the door. Come on. Find a bed. Okay, there's a bed. Let's see how well this works. Ooh, we just hit ourselves with the door again. Come on, Barry. We're gonna really test the, the bunks out this time. There you go. See how quick it helps. We have a lot of injuries. I think there's a radio. Are this re radio frequencies? Presets. Radio, the ra air radio frequencies or something like that. Oh, he just vomited. Let's get back in here. Come on, let's see. Let's see, Barry. Let's see how well you do. I mean, it's slowly getting better, I think. The blunt force trauma, at least. I don't know how much the concussion and everything else is getting help. We do need medicine, seriously. <laughs> we need a doctor, honestly. Yeah, I might even switch. I don't know. I wanted to get a little bit better, just in case. And he's hurt on every... Every body part. Yeah, he's just vomiting. Barry's in such bad straits. We have 7,000 bucks, though. If we can get a doctor, that would really help. Then. No doctor! Come on! I mean, we have an assistant. Shin Gomez. Shin Gomez, I might hire you just because of your high doctoring. There you go, Shin Gomez. We, we, you'll have to be the temporary doctor. We are not finding any doctors yet. Now, for well, what I was thinking is, I might actually have. Oh my gosh! To the giant vomit stain! <laughs> Go ahead and run over here. Get back in that bed, Barry. You're gonna vomit on all everyone around him. Come back up here. It's a concussion, I'm pretty sure. 
I was having to sleep. I'll stand up if he does that. What does a concussion do? Disoriented, focus, has trouble focusing on their eyes. It's morphine, thiazine, fentanyl, pomegranate extract. Pomegranate extracts, uh, not many people like it, but it, pomegranate extract, sorry, is not many people like it, but it's actually pretty good if you don't have a doctor. Because if you don't have a doctor, your chance of someone getting addicted to something is really decent. Like it's really high. By decent, I mean decently high. So it's not a, it's not bad if you're having trouble finding someone actually to be the doctor. <laughs> oh yeah, every time he throws up, he gets he gets up out of the bunk. But it does seem like it's helping ever so slightly, just very slowly. But either way, we're gonna probably leave it off there. We don't probably have enough time to do another mission. So thanks for watching, everybody. You guys have a great time. I had a lot of fun with this one. And see you all. See you all later. All right, bye.